Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. In the part 5 of this series, uh, I'm gonna look, we're gonna look at the on ready event. So this event, as you can tell, uh, when the bot is ready or the bot is online, is gonna initialize. So we're gonna add some couple of ways. I will show you next to the screen now how it's gonna look like. I'm just gonna make it um, look better at the console, like print uh, uh, good useful stuff, etc. It will be like, on, let's say for styling and it will be informative, that's it. So uh, what we need is, first of all, we need the colorama because that's how we're gonna modify our console styling, background, colors, etc. So we need to import the actual for, the style and we need the back. So with that said, we need to create our uh, need to create some type of like prefix which will be initialized each time we like uh, print something to the console it will have like time like the daytime etc so we'll just uh, make the console background black and we'll make the text for green like the text color will be green then we're gonna add in our time from the SRT time did we import time here we'll just import time I think we now just import it in case and we need to format so let's do like the hour uh, minute seconds and yeah it's gonna be UTC because that's universal time everyone uses that and time dot GMT time that will be good now we're gonna just add and we're gonna reset the back set and we need to make it white or whatever you actually want here I will show you what it does and let's make it actually bright i like i like the style to be bright bright seems kind of edgy so with that being said let's go down here and let's start with this print logged in as bot username let's uh, now add in our prefix all we have to do is you can do like this or you can just remove this however you want it let's just remove it I mean it doesn't really matter but let's just do it how we like we're just gonna add in the prefix at each single print here from now on we just leave a little space there and log it in as bot we're just add a space and the bot username let's make the bot username in blue blue i think there's not blue works so just blue then we add in our bot username and i think that's it let's remove this don't need that Logged in as username, yeah. I just copy paste this. We'll do this for the rest. Let's put in our bot ID. So use user ID. Or something like bot ID. Then the same thing. Let's just, for example, add in the uh, Discord version and our Python version. Uh, you can change the colors however you want. We'll just for the Discord, I'll make it uh, like blue. And we just gonna need the Discord uh, version that work. I just need to say this Discord Discord version. And let's do the same thing for our Python version. And we need to string it because it's gonna be a number so platform Python version and it looks like I didn't import platform so let's import this really quick now that'll work Python version and we need to add in we don't actually need to but let's just add the prefix over here we can do it like this you can just Press put the F string over here and you can forget about the rest. I mean, you can literally style it or do it however you like. All of it works. You can do it. I will show you what I mean. Like this. And like this. This. This and this. Remove this plus. 
that should work perfectly fine we remove this plus two and all we have to do is add this inside of a uh, oops here we go that should work same thing for this prefix synced let's add in our light blue Uh, sync slash commands we need the light blue for this one then we're just gonna put it back to white we set it to white actually we don't need to print how the commands that has been synced so we can skip that and I guess yeah that's it we can add something like the uh, total amount of servers the bot is in um, maybe somewhere like here enter the bot user just copy paste the same thing here put it down let's remove the space we don't actually need that okay so uh, we'll need the length of the bot the guilds so that will give us the length uh the how many uh in the array of the bot guilds how many servers we got that will should give us a total amount of servers and something like active on and just braces with capitals active on and we'll give this put this byte again and we're just resetting the color active on server it should be servers or you can just make it server and maybe something like the uh, total amount of members that uh, the bot is active on for that we will need just like a function let's put it here it's gonna call it dev count users and for like for guild and bot guilds just make it a total equals zero just sum it up total equals actually we're just gonna add the length of the guild members right and we should just return total that work and all we have to do is something like watching and we need this user watching that sum of users or user users i mean they both really work fine just remove these uh, empty spaces and yeah let's just test it out this should be good for now let's we'll just start our bot as you can see here but we can log in and here we go it works perfectly fine we just need to space this out a bit and it looks perfect we'll just remove this and yeah i think that's it just give us the time over here logged in as youtube tutorial bot id active on how many servers watching how many user what version python version sync 7 slash commands we can start it really quick over here there we go it is perfectly fine so yeah in the next part of our series, we'll explore more advanced topics like buttons, menus, uh, select menus, models. So yeah, stay tuned for the next parts. Hit the like uh, button and subscribe for more bot building adventures. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.